Hi, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. We do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and live streams on everything and anything Data Analytics. So today we're going to talk about how to compare CSV files for differences in Python. We're going to look at the, there's a couple of different methods, how would you apply them, and how they may be useful to you. So let's hop over, see the code, and see how it's, how it's completed. Right, uh, so you're faced with a scenario where you have two files, CSVs in this instance. This could be done to Excel as well, regular Excel SX files. And uh, what you're trying to do here is you look at the screen, they're pretty much they're exactly the same. There's only a difference um, in the year on line row three here and row 13 uh, of this one. As you can see, row 13 here is 2019, rows 2123 here. Um, on this here it's 220 and it's 219 so purpose of this video is to say well how do we actually find these differences um, you could have a CSV that has thousands and thousands of rows so this is a very simplistic um, example but you have lots of rows you wouldn't be able to easily identify them and we want a quick way to do it okay so this video has three methods or three ways to look at it um, let's look at the output first so just minimal actually I'll just do this actually here is three examples of actually how to go about seeing what's equal and what's not. So in the first um, scenario, what we've done is we've created an output, but basically what it's doing is over comparing the two CSV files and then it's either if it's true, if it's equal, and then it's false, if it's not. So in this scenario, you'll see there's a false here and a false here, which we've just described uh, previously when we looked at the actual original source input in the CSV files. Now that's one way so that actually gives you true or false but you actually don't know what's different so there's two other ways we could look at it um in the second scenario we're going to show you in a second um all it basically does is it looks at the first file and says row three and this row 13 and this is these values but they are different to the csv2 um, and then the third scenario where it, is it gives us all the information out and it's kind of a combination of, well, it's really the first one and then an additional piece of information. So that it's basically gives you this year here column um, and it's basically saying it's false here, false here on 3 and 13, which we can see is 3 and 13. But now what you have in this scenario is you have the column for DF2, which is a CSV2 file. And you can see here, this is clearly 220, where it says false, and this is 2123. But on DF1, or the CSV1 file, it's 219, and it's 219 here. So it's another way of looking at the actual differences and giving you a bit more information. I remember, as I said, this could be a problem if you to kind of achieve this slickly and quickly if you have lots and lots of records in your files. So one caveat or one thing just to remember is this, in this video, this works off uh, the scenario where you've got the same amount of columns and the same amount of rows to compare. Uh, we will do another separate video where you're gonna have, um, you might have different rows and different columns, numbers should I say. So we'll look at that in a separate video, but this is purely to compare. We have the same number of columns and the same number of rows. Okay, so let's go and look at the logic that does all this, the magic. Okay, so I'm going to import pandas as pd, uh, very straightforward, I've done that in lots of other videos, I'm going to import numpy as mp. Okay, very straightforward, um, that allows some calculations down below to be done. Then what we're going to do is read in csv1 and csv2.csv. Now they are stored in the same folder as the Python code, so we don't need to put any um, paths to that. If they're in a different folder, obviously you would have to put the paths there. Okay. So the method one is, um, which gives you this output here, okay, is essentially what we're doing is we're going to create an array. And essentially what the array does, it creates a table with a list of values that will allow the code below it to compare essentially the data. Okay, so what we do is create an array out of um, the data frames, okay. And then we basically the second next bit we're doing is we're actually creating a separate the uh, data basically data frame here for CS1 and CSV2, but what we're doing is we're reading them in off the array, okay. And then this these two lines here, what they're doing is essentially we're re-indexing the values. So they would probably we have twenty values in each uh, record. 
they would their index values would be 0 to 19 what we want to do is make them 1 to 20 so as you can see here down here is 1 to 20 okay so we don't and that's there's a reason for that i'll show you that in a second then the final step is uh we just want to print so what i've done is a print statement here and what this this is probably the main bits of the code which probably will give you what you want out of this video and we're basically saying take dsv1 um where it's where it's equal to dsv2 and basically two string and then we're basically saying index equals true which basically means add in the index um so essentially what that's doing is just print out um print out basically this data frame here um this what this sorry print out this uh variable here a but what we want to do is show um anything that's equal to, sorry we want to show anything where it's index true as well as index and then show where it's equal true or false okay so that gives you this these rows here now as you said at the start um it basically could be an issue that you can see this is that's true false what well, actually what's what's different okay so this is just giving you two false values next methods um is we want to just show we just want to purely see well what's actually different between the two files so we don't want to get the true or false and we don't want to get all the records back we just want to see what rows are different okay so basically what's happening here again is we're taking data frame one and we're basically replying what we've done up here is doing it this basically does a comparison and then we're basing the access equal to one which is basically on the columns and we basically say equals false and what the equals false means is basically where they don't equal okay and this again just sets the index to start at one all the way to 20 and then we're just printing it out again and what this does now is it gives you these two values so what we saw up here is we saw row three on year that was false everything else was true and 13 on year was false and everything else is true so it's giving you everything back but it's basically saying that there's differences so if you go to look there's differences here so if you go to look at csv2 if you're doing a comparison on this you would just basically pull the information from csv2 and say ah oh, hold on these these values are different and um, we can see they're different we need to go and investigate this but in this scenario it doesn't give you the the, the ds the csv2 values or show you what's actually different so the final method uh, which we're going to take you through is we're actually going to do use some of the logic from above but in actual fact we're going to do is create an additional column and show well actually there is differences what's the actual file has been compared again and what's that value so you can see on screen or you could export this to a file and basically see where the difference is so again what we've done is um we basically created a df1 and we're basically saying do a check um between df1 year and column and df2 year column and apply a true or false value so essentially saying it's it's going reading down between the two columns comparing and if it's true it applies a true into the column if it's false 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 uh, again it just resets the index here for df index just resets it from 1 to 20 and then we've applied additional columns so we've put an additional column here right uh, basically what we're doing is we're saying that column is going to equal to df2 year value and uh, what you need to do for that is we need to create up a series um, basically what a series is is basically as you can see here is a one dimensional label array capable of holding data of any type right so all we're doing here is we're pulling in the df2 year values and we're going to have it in a column um horizontal vertical horizontal no vertical so it's going to go down to like it is here so it's going to go down here to the right and be beside each value of df1 and then it's basically going to say we're going to say take this df2 and basically assign the df2 year and um, the values in that the actual values that into the df2 year column okay and then obviously the last thing again is printing and what you have now is a scenario of you not just can see all the information from csv1 but you can see there's an issue here where um, we see some faults so you can say that's false okay and that's 220 but on actual fact that's 219 and then we have a false here that's 2123 on actual facts 219 so the expectation um here is that what you're trying to do is uh, check the two files to see that um they're actually equal so where does this help um there's a number of scenarios 
you could have taken a CSV file, uploaded it into a database. Um, what you wanted to do was make sure the database was reloaded. So an actual fact that you do is you take SQL, reload the data you've uploaded back down again and say, this has come off the database into a CSV file, compare that CSV file to your original CSV and say, is there any differences? And that will tell you um, if you're right or wrong um, regards your flow and its work correctly. And then if it's not, you can back it out. So that is how you would compare two CSV files to see if there's any differences. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video today. Uh, we're doing lots more videos um, on data analytics. Um, we have lots of videos on channel on SQL, Python. We've done some work on R programming and we've done some data visualization, which we are currently working through a couple of more of them just to get them rolled out. Bit of work on them, so bear with us. So thanks for visiting today. We hope you liked this video. Please like and hit the subscribe button. Please share with any of your friends, work colleagues you think might get some benefit out of this. Hope you keep them well and we'll catch you soon. Take care, goodbye.